Today we are going to be learning about calculating with parentheses. We will see how to use parentheses in math and how we solve operations with them. By the end of this video, you will learn how to read and write parentheses in mathematical expressions such as addition, subtraction, and multiplication. This is how we write parentheses. On one side we have the left parenthesis. And on the other we have the right parenthesis. And together, we call them parentheses or round brackets. Parentheses are symbols whose primary use is to group numbers together in order to tell what numbers to work first. For example, suppose we have the following expression. 5 plus 3 minus 1. We know that to solve this expression, we start by adding 5 plus 3 and then subtracting 1, giving us 7 as the result. With parentheses, we can change the order in which we solve this kind of problem. For example, we can rewrite this expression as follows. We can see that 3 minus 1 is in parentheses. What does this mean? That's right. It means that first we have to solve the subtraction. 3 minus 1 gives us 2. And now we add the 5, which gives us 7. Let's look at another example. Suppose we want to solve the following problem. How much is 3 minus 2 minus 1? That's right. The answer is 0. Now, imagine we want to solve the following problem. 3 minus, open parenthesis, 2 minus 1, close parenthesis. How much is that? As we can see, 2 minus 1 is in parentheses. It means that first we have to solve this subtraction. 2 minus 1 gives us 1. Now we have 3 minus 1 which gives us 2. As we can notice, the presence of parentheses can completely change the result of a math expression. And, did you understand everything? Great. Let's look at another example together. Suppose we have the following expression. 4 times 6 minus 3. How do we solve this problem? Remember, you multiply before you add or subtract. Therefore, we start by multiplying 4 times 6 and then subtracting 3, giving us 21 as a result. Now, imagine that we rewrite this problem as follows. 4 times, open parenthesis, 6 minus 3, close parenthesis. How do we solve this expression? That's right. We must solve what's in the parentheses first. This time, we first solve 6 minus 3, which is 3. And then we multiply 3 times 4, giving us 12 as a result. Let's look at another example. Suppose we have the following expression. 8 times 5 plus 2. We know that to solve this expression, we start by multiplying 8 times 5 and then adding 2, giving us 42 as a result. Now, imagine that we rewrite this problem as follows. 
8 times, open parenthesis, 5 plus 2, close parenthesis. How do we solve this expression? That's correct. We have to solve 5 plus 2 first, because it's in parentheses. 5 plus 2 equals 7. And 8 times 7 equals 56. Did you know we can also use parentheses to multiply numbers? Yes, that's another property of parentheses in math. When we see two or more numbers together that are separated by parentheses, then the parentheses are telling us to multiply. When we see, for example, the parentheses are telling us to multiply the 5 and the 2 together. We can write 5 times 2 in four different ways. All of these are multiplication problems, and they all equal 10. Or if we see, for example, it means to multiply the 4 with the 3 and the 2, which gives us 24. Let's see a couple of examples. How can I solve this problem? That's right. I have to multiply 8 times 6, which is 48, and then I add 48 plus 2, which is 50. Let's look at another example. How can I solve this problem? You are right again. I have to subtract 35 minus 15, which is 20, and then I multiply 20 times 2, which is 40. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.